doing a little further work into the numbers on that Georgia Guidestone cube. Uh, 8, 14, 16, and 20. And I went to the online encyclopedia of integer sequences to see you know, if those numbers are part of a sequence or some kind of pattern. And there were about 13, I think, different sequences, but none of them really rang true to me except the one that I'm about to show you. If you want to look at the other ones, um, I'll put the link to this site down below. You can go check it out. So here's what I thought was interesting. The total number of states of the first n subshells of the nuclear shell model. So 2, 6, 8, 14, 16, and 20 are the shells. So they correspond to elements. Uh, what I'm about to show you here. So the subshells are where the electrons reside. So if you have 8 electrons, you have eight protons, so it's oxygen. So the full subshell would be eight for oxygen, 14 for silicone, 16 for sulfur, and 20 for calcium. Um, not sure exactly what that means. I just thought it was interesting that those coincide exactly. Um, and then I decided to add up all the of all the uh, the numbers. I did two different things. I added the 2, 6, then the 8, 14, 16, and 20 to get the complete shells up to that point, and then I just added 8, 14, 16, and 20 and found the corresponding elements, so I'll show you those now. Okay, the first one is element 58, cerium. Um, the most interesting part of this, which I saw, is that it's the second sentence, or the yeah, the second sentence. It was named after the dwarf planet Ceres. Which anyone that follows Thor news or uh, just astronomy in general knows Ceres is a dwarf planet in the inner solar system that may or may not harbor life. So I thought that was interesting. But aside from that, the element itself doesn't really lend anything to uh, this investigation. So then I added up I took the 58 and then added 2 and 6, which would be the uh, the first two uh, electron shells. And I came up with dispor Disprosium. Um, symbol is DY, Di. Atomic number is 66. And its primary use is for making control rods for nuclear reactors. Which is awful. So in addition to being used in nuclear fuel rods, it's also used in dosimeters for measuring that poisonous ionizing radiation. And also, nanofibers have high strength and large surface area, and can be used for reinforcement of other materials and as a catalyst. So I know that a lot of people believe that in, in chemtrails or, or some kind of mixtures that they spray it on us. A lot of nanofibers are used in that, and then whatever they want to put inside the fibers is uh, kept safe. So, dispor dysprosium could be what they're using for the nanofibers. So, yeah, not sure if it means anything, but I just thought it. It odd that it corresponded exactly to those uh, nuclear shell layers and these very common elements and the series and the nuclear aspect to it, maybe the chemtrail aspect to it. Not sure if it means anything, not sure if it's right. It could easily be that, that date, October 14th, that uh, I see around. No idea. And I'm going to do a little work into the JAM. MM or WW. Try to see if I can figure out what the hell that means.